Welcome to the world of sustainable trucks. My name is Andreas Lubitz. In this video, I will compare battery electric drives and fuel cell drives. I will use 10 important features to help us find out which solution is better suitable for trucks. Now here are the 10 key features to compare battery and fuel cell drives for trucks. Number one, complexity. Lithium ion batteries for vehicles today are proven technologies. But also fuel cells have been in use for many years, at least in stationary applications. According to the industry, the production of both high energy batteries and fuel cells is rather complex. But if we look at the integration into the vehicle, a battery is rather simple compared to fuel cell systems where you have to consider not only the fuel cell itself, but also the safe storage and supply of highly inflammable hydrogen. So this point goes to the battery. Number two, efficiency. Batteries can store the electric energy needed for the driveline directly out of the electricity grid. There are a few losses during charging, but overall, battery electric trucks are achieving an efficiency of 70% and more, twice better than a diesel truck. In fuel cell trucks, the electricity used for the driveline is not stored, but generated by the fuel cells using hydrogen. In this process, as well as during production of hydrogen and when compressing hydrogen for transport and storage, energy gets lost. And that is why fuel cell trucks only achieve a well-to-wheel efficiency of less than 30%. That's similar to that of diesel trucks, but significantly worse than a battery electric truck. That's one more point for the battery. Number three, weight. Payload is an important factor in transport. Therefore, the weight of the drive system is crucial. The weight of the battery depends on its energy density and on the capacity of the battery. Today's most modern batteries for vehicles can store up to 200 watt-hours per kilogram. If a truck consumes 1250 watt-hours per kilometer, we talk about just over 6 kilogram of battery weight for every kilometer driven. If you want a range of 300 kilometers between charging, then the battery will weigh just under 2 tons. Accordingly, for a range of 600 kilometers, the battery will weigh 3750 kilograms and 5 tons for a range of 800 kilometers. What about fuel cell systems? Are they any lighter? Current fuel cells can have a power density of up to 300 watt per kilogram. As an example, the fuel cells in the future Daimler Gen H2 fuel cell truck will have a fuel cell performance of 300 kilowatt. According to this calculation, the fuel cell pack of this truck will weigh around 1000 kilogram. So even if we add the weight of the hydrogen tanks, a fuel cell system will be just about half the weight of a battery system. One point for the fuel cell. Number four, range. The range of a battery powered truck is limited to the capacity of the battery. Longer range means bigger battery, means less payload. Currently available battery electric trucks with a payload similar to diesel trucks can realistically drive no more than 200 to 250 kilometers with a fully charged battery. With a low range like that, they are used mainly in regional transport, city delivery or waste collection, where trucks come back to the depot every night. On the other hand, a fuel cell truck, dependent on the size of the installed hydrogen tanks, can even drive 1000 kilometers. That sounds much better and therefore it's a point for the fuel cell. Number five, durability. 
Battery manufacturers claim that their batteries for use in vehicles can stand at least 1000 to 1200 charging cycles before they have to be replaced. If a truck battery is charged daily on 240 working days a year, its lifetime is 5 years. Fuel cell manufacturers claim a lifetime of at least 5000 hours for their products. Some recently developed fuel cells are set to even reach a lifetime of 10,000 hours. If we assume that an average truck runs 8 hours per day on 240 days a year, the fuel cells will last up to 5 years, just like the batteries. So that's equal and no points for either of the systems. Number 6. Charging or fueling time. Even though technologies are rapidly improving, charging times for truck batteries are still two to four hours and beyond. For regional delivery services, where trucks are parked in the depot for several hours every day, this is not an issue. But for long distance trucks, long charging times are certainly not an option. Fuel cell trucks, however, can be fueled within minutes. One more point for the fuel cell. Number seven, infrastructure. Both charging stations for battery trucks and hydrogen filling stations are still rare in Europe. Just recently, the European Association of Automobile Manufacturers, ACEA, has stated that in all of Europe, there are currently no publicly available charging stations for trucks and far less than 100 truck compatible hydrogen filling stations in all of Europe. However, for fleet owners who want to install their own charging or fueling system, it is about 10 times cheaper and much easier to install an electric charging system than a hydrogen filling station. So this point goes to the battery. Number eight, handling. The handling for drivers is virtually the same for battery electric and fuel cell drives. Neither of them requires any maintenance and inserting the charging plug is just as foolproof as connecting the hydrogen filling nozzle. Equal again, no point for either of the system. Number nine, availability. Even though we talk about very small numbers far below 1000 per year, yes, battery electric trucks are already available on the market, either directly from the original manufacturer or as retrofitted ex-diesel trucks. And what about fuel cell trucks? As of October 2020, only a few hydrogen powered trucks are on test drive in Europe. So this point goes to the battery. Number 10, costs. Battery for cars, light commercial vehicles and buses are being produced in large numbers already. Batteries for trucks are based on the same technologies and therefore are available at reasonable prices. The production of fuel cells for trucks, however, is still at the very beginning. High costs for R&D as well as for building new production facilities, combined with very low quantities, result in high prices for the fuel cell. In addition to the cost for the battery or the fuel cell, we have to also consider the cost of electricity or hydrogen. The average electricity price for industrial application in Europe is around 8 cents per kilowatt hour. Given a consumption of 125 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, the energy costs for battery electric trucks can be as low as 10 euros per 100 kilometers, three times lower than that of diesel trucks. The price for green hydrogen, generated from solar, wind or hydroelectric power stations, currently is around 11 euro per kilogram. Given a consumption of 8 to 10 kilograms per 100 kilometers, the energy costs for a fuel cell truck can be up to 10 times higher than for a battery electric truck. Production and delivery costs for hydrogen will certainly drop as demand increases, but for the foreseeable future, the price of hydrogen will be significantly higher than for electricity from the grid. 
So this last point also goes to the battery. Now here's the result. When comparing the 10 key features, complexity, efficiency, weight, range, durability, filling time, infrastructure, handling availability and costs, the battery electric drive wins five to three against the fuel cell drive. I admit that this is a very simplified comparison. I will go deeper into different aspects and applications in my next videos. Make sure you click the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of my next videos. For global news on sustainable trucks and buses, check out our news website truckbustrailernews.world. If you need any information about commercial vehicle manufacturers and suppliers worldwide, visit our global industry directory oemlibrary.world. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you at the next episode of Sustainable Trucks presented by OEM Library.